hello everybody welcome back thank you so much for joining me we are going to take another look at the core mod demo since it's been almost a year since i have looked at it last we are in radiant park just outside the lux solus campus we did kind of the intro in the last episode and we're going to go on and see what we have luckily in the first episode we went ahead and was able to grab a potent patter bit which is a really cool find right off the bat so i'm really excited about that we're going to go in here and talk to these people and to see what they are doing wild corn mound can jump out at you while walking in the grass be sure to have enough strong cormon to protect yourself let's see what she my powder bit is almost strong enough to evolve then we can finally go on quests now they had a funny little thing here with this guy i want to see if it is the same let's go talk to him and see come on jerome focus remember what i taught you we get a wild cormon to increase your chance to capture it well, let's see what Jerome says. Jerome's going to be, I think Jerome's having a little bit trouble if I remember correctly. And we got one jumping out at us and we got a silk wheel. I'm going to try to be just capturing a lot. Really just kind of expect to go through it, relax, kind of have fun with it. Not going to rush. We're just going to make an easy kind of fight here. Collect, do some fun stuff that kind of idea i'm not gonna rush to the end i yeah just gonna collect what we can so that should put it low enough for us to pick it up that's gonna be our third cormon we're gonna be using the cormon i believe just whatever i catch and see how it goes from there i might switch something out once i get a little bit we might do a little grinding to get some special ones that we've never really dealt with before but let's see how it goes he's level three and he's gonna he really needs to kick it up here let's see if we can talk to jerome here i'm trying to capture a cormon but they just keep breaking out of my spinners perhaps you could help me could you catch one for me that would help me so much come back when you caught me one anyone will do now i have one let's see if i could yes i did and I'm going to go ahead and give him that silk wheel. My supervisor will be so impressed. Uh-oh, I don't think he will be. Jerome, what are you doing? Jerome's in trouble. You were supposed to catch one for yourself. Give that Cormon back at once. Oh, poor Jerome. I'm sorry, he's right. Taking the easy route won't help me improve as a trainer. I'll give you your silk wheel back. Here we go. Here, take these for your effort. Oh, we got two silver spinners. Awesome. Just keep on trying. You do that. We are actually going to... We have to... One of the things as you are leveling your Cormon up is you really have to... I recommend two things. Put your weakest ones at first. So that's going to be the first fight, the first one that gets into the fight and he'll get the if he kills it he'll be able to get the experience if you have to switch out then the two that you switch will get the experience i believe split between them if they haven't changed it but at the very beginning when you're collecting up your first core mine i really recommend to go back and heal a bunch you're right there at the beginning there's no reason not to run back it takes a minute run back and heal them up it'd be a lot easier to do it that way another little trick that you can do is even if they don't attack if they're in the battle they get experience so what you can do is have like your silk wheel in the battle switch him out the first thing you do is switch him out and go to my, like my taruga he'll still get experience for that but these are fairly low and i want to keep my i don't want to hit a level six taruga on that level one armado i'll never get the armado so let's see we'll scratch him up a little bit and see how bad that does it only took three off so we should be able to hit him 
at least one more time. We're not gonna be doing a whole lot of damage. It did another three. The only problem here is if we do a critical, we're gonna hit him one more time. Hopefully it's not gonna be a crit. There we go. Now we should be able to use our spinner and not be too upset. Another thing that I need to do is check out their abilities, their, their special abilities. Okay, there we go. We're going to Armado and we're going to have to move him up to the beginning. We got a level one. This is going to go. And that's usually the way these games go. They're very kind of slow at the start until you get some characters all switched up the way you want them to switch with him. And then we need to switch him with my Taruga. That way we will able to get again the the weakest one up front. We also want to check out their What I wanted to do here is their Summary so that we could check out their trait Vaccinated so it's immune to poison. That's really cool And then Corman never fails to escape from a wild in normal circumstances this Cormon never fails to escape from a wild Coromon. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. He could run away. That makes sense. Okay. I'm following it now. I was like, what does that mean? One of the interesting things about the game is some of the, the abilities like the fire of the Taruga has a damage over time effect. So one of the things I like to do is in my group have a couple that have those so a taruga something that can do poison i know there's several that and i cannot for the life of remember, remember any of the cormon names right now but there's some that will do poison so if you could stack that poison and then the fire they're going to be doing not even not when you're hitting just at like the beginning of the turn they'll take a little bit of damage and that's very helpful for you and you will want to make sure that to do that let's see what we got we got another armado but is it a a level one to a level one i'm not really worried oh it's a level two to a level one yeah let's go ahead and scratch him up once and then we'll have to switch him out probably let's go ahead and just switch out nope nope that's not what i want to do squad I'm just gonna go ahead and jump to Taruga just to get just to get it taken care of basically he'll get a little bit of experience and then the Taruga will be able to do the damage here so then we now we, now we have that fire is the cinder attack if you see this diamond that means it's a normal attack if it doesn't have any image that means it's a like an ability or a buff or a debuff and then the that's a fire attack so we're gonna do cinder on the armado and he should if i knocked him right out so that's okay so the true got 16 experience which is not much for him but the armado yeah grew up to level two which doesn't really surprise me there once you do that a few times it will really make it you know they jump up quite a bit but you want to be careful with these first because you just there's a really quickly you can get over your head because there's grass areas you can get in and out of these grass areas here fairly easy but if you get down the road you can get into an area where there's like a long string of grass that you would have to come back through so you really want to make sure that you get your level up here before you get much farther so yeah so i didn't even attack with that armado there but you can see when i do this he will still get experience because he was technically still in the battle so that armado faded i got eight experience and then the uh, my armado got eight awesome so he's already back up to level three and he has concentrate awesome so that's kind of a good way to, and then because he's more, I could switch him over to 
that area and then just basically do the same thing you're almost power leveling your characters that way is getting them to pop out switch over and to a strong character and it's a real easy way to power level them so let's go over here to my taruga but you got to be careful you got to make sure that your taruga can take that damage if it's against a water type i would not do this with the taruga just because that water type would be strong for the taruga so let's go ahead and do a cinder and hopefully i don't know if that's going to take him all the way out there he did not so cinder has a chance it doesn't mean it will but it does have a chance of doing that fire or catching the cormon on fire i don't know the exact terminology they use but or don't remember i should say so seal quills up to three that's awesome okay well let's head on back i just want to make sure my party is all kind of healed up and ready to go although the seal quills not hurt, hurt or the pattern belt the only problem is i'm using my taruga as like my safety net and if you're not careful when you switch them out your the one that you switch in gets hit so when you switch that's your move for that turn and your enemy gets the free hit and if you're not careful you can really you could really hurt your main core mon. you can get knocked out really easy if you're not careful okay let's head back down to the bushes there are a few other places that i think that you can go to there's these two grass areas and i believe just past it there's a grass area down there but once you go like in that that's a long grass area that you have to be come back for so that's you got to be careful there let's see what this guy has to say greeting judge traveler i am the ranger of radiant park if you follow the path southeast you will reach Hayville. Be careful when entering the grass, though. Wild Cormon live there. Here, take these cakes. They will help you get to Hayville more easily. Here you go. Don't eat them yourself, though. Cormon cakes are not the same as traditional cakes. To a human, they taste bitter and chalky, much like a vitamin. But the bitter tang of these items is just what the Cormon needs to get back in perfect shape. Well, that's interesting. I don't think they've ever really talked about that before. Okay, we got some more HP cakes. I love coming here on my breaks. The beauty of nature just washes over my worries away. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? River is a perfect place to catch some water core, on. Now, there is has been that treasure chest over there, but I have never been able to get to that treasure chest. And I'm curious if we can figure it out somehow. We'll have to wait until probably off from Hayville or something. We'll have to wait and see. That look, kind of looks like I can go back into the trees there for a second. Uh-oh, let's see what we got here. They were about level three before. I don't know if this is going to kick it up or not, if it's going to be about the same level. It's a level two. I'm going to go ahead and go for it. We're gonna just use claw back and forth basically probably but ooh, that was a critical hit oh no and that probably won't do as much yet because it wasn't a critical this is gonna be i'll be able to win this but it's it just it hurts my silk quill down quite quite a bit as long as he doesn't miss there we go I oh, fainted and 25 XP almost got up to level four though now the seal cool I've always done like a speed thing so I'll do like speed what else do I do you know what let's just make him really hmm how do I want to do this let's do HP speed and special Let's try that, see what that does. Here we go. 
Oh, we did go, go ahead and go to level four. Awesome, pocket sand. Now we will eventually have to go through. You're only allowed to have like four abilities every in a, in a battle, four abilities active basically. So we'll have to turn off some abilities that we don't want to use and make sure that we do that. So he's actually level four now. I probably should have switched him out, but let's go ahead and switch our squad to Taruga. I would like to get them all level six before I go in any further, but that might be a little bit of a, a battle or a little bit of difficulty trying to get it up that high with only level twos, but we'll see. Take it easy. I would still like to see some kind of... We're going to save a little bit and use that. I would still like to see if there's any other special Cormon in this area. You, sometimes there's a, a, one that you have to get, like a rare one that appears in the area. I'm going to go ahead and switch out my squad to my Patterbit. Let's switch him out. So that he can get the experience next. Another Silk Will. <laughs> now he's a potent one, which should do a little bit more damage. Three to two. Let's see what he could do. He only has Slam right now. And he has Claw. He only does three damage compared to my, what, six there. Oh, I was able to beat him there. Awesome. I got the attack on that one. Oh, what did what happened? Defense increased. Cool. That's I like that. Here we go. We knocked him out. The good. I mean, you really kind of want to ooh, a pattern a bit. What do I want him to be? He's um. Yeah, let's have him attack. Let's do that. Oh wait, I did. HP up to He's level four sweet. I usually do my armado a like a tank So we'll do like his defense when he goes up a level. We'll do like defense and Like health just so we can like take a lot of damage kind of the idea there Armado against Armado. Let's go. I don't know what I'm at two to three. I think I'm gonna switch him out I really just would like to get it Taken care of here get these guys up a little bit of a level. I don't know how hard it's gonna be here But we could try to Aruga is gonna be up at some point probably but with a level two, he should be able to use Cinder pretty easy and take him out. Maybe, oh no, so close. Almost got all of them there. But this might level up my Armado to level four. It's just hard to tell when, yeah, how it's going. No, not quite. He must be really close then. We can now try to fight off the, with the Armado and switch if I need to. I got concert. I was just, was just going to do a scratch. We'll just scratch each other's eyes out. So he does, I do four and he does three. So I'm going to end up winning unless he gets a critical on me or I miss or something. I feel that the misses have gone down. I don't know if that's something that I remember when I first played you had a it seemed like a high chance of missing but it seems like I'm I haven't missed yet so that's really cool I don't know if they've like tweaked that a little bit which would be really nice if they did so I felt that we really missed too often so the HP and then like we'll just do defense he'll be my tank that's what we'll do. HP and defense the whole way with the Armado. Okay. 
back to the city. Let's go. I would also like to check out the... We're doing pretty good here with our levels. I kind of, I don't really want to have one first and really don't. Now, sometimes like you'll want, like if they were all the same level, I would want my Taruga first because then he has that chance to have that flame attack and be able to have that burn effect. And that then if I have to switch him out, that stays. So no matter what, it will stay until it like, I guess, wears off. Let's see what that, I wanna see that summary and show that where's his, so Cinder has a 10% chance to burn the target. And basically what that does is give that burn status effect. It will do damage over time. And that will stay no matter what, if you switch out your Coromon. So what you wanna do is have him first, have the person that has poison first. Can I get any, is there anything in that? Have the person that has poison first so that you can have that switch out your Coromon and then that damage will continue to go over time. Okay, I feel that this is laid out a little bit different too. Come and get hurt in battle. I'm buying enough HP cake small this time so I can reach Hayville safely. I would like to probably grab a few more spinner. All the items, all these items, items, all these items will be so useful, but I can't afford any. Maybe I could challenge other trainers to earn some gold. How can I, I want to buy items? So you got HP cakes that restore health. SP case with specialty points, skill points. I'm not sure what the SP. Then you have status effects. So ice cakes, lifted, spicy, clear, detox, ground, and cafe cake all remove some sort of status effect that which we talked about. And like shock does electric damage. You got your poison. I'm not sure what haziness does. Freeze just makes it so that you can't attack. Curse, I'm not sure what curse does. And then burn has that burn effect over. And then sleep is obvious as well. Just kind of puts you to sleep. Let's grab a couple efficiently catch normal type. Let's get just a couple more spinners here. I don't need a Lux recall. I don't want to spend too much money here but a couple I think would be good just in case we run into any more here. Cormon that we want to grab. We'll go over here also to the arena because last time we were able to challenge somebody, but I want to see, I won my very first battle. I hope others finish soon so I can have another practice battle. I was thinking somewhere the battle skills are showing good progress. I was thinking there was somewhere that where we could like have a battle, a training battle, but I don't remember if that was where that was. Hmm, interesting. But that may have been all taken out when they taken out the, there was a like, um a rival subplot here in the intro, but it seems like they've taken that out. So excited for the next arena competition match. Yep. Okay. So I think that's going to be our episode for today. We are going to run out. We got a, at least one new Cormon in this episode, which is cool. And we are going to end up, let's go ahead and talk to these people out here and see if they have anything. A lot of these people in the beginning towns are just informational people. Won't tell you anything about it. It's a secret. Well, fine. Be that away, you little jerk face head. You have anything for me? Shine bright, shine bright. The Lux Solus cat phrase. I'm still getting used to it though. Shine bright, shine bright. Okay. Wow. She's a little too hyper for me there. 
I think, yeah, that's a good place to stop. We're gonna run out and grab some more Coromon and level these guys up in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.